there are a few more trailers and announcement uh, videos that I wanted to take a look at now that I've looked at the gameplay showcase and um, I guess one of the trailers, I don't know. But I know there was like a first one that I didn't watch and then there's like a few here like the Saints and Sinners one, gameplay teasers. There's a few things here that I want to take a look at. So let's go do that. They're making like a movie style when trailer. It seems you're out of luck. There's just one man who gives. <laughs> Is that K Pon? <laughs> a friend who'll never leave you stuck. It is, isn't it? That must be Henry then? Who can that friend? <laughs> I have goosebumps. Henry. It is! It's... <laughs> it's been a while. But now we can finally show you <gasps> Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. I have goosebumps, and the way he said Henry was so emotional. makes me emotional like other people being emotional makes me emotional Ghost! sorry I tear a lot <laughs> when other people are happy I it makes me so happy and then I overwhelmingly have tears in my eyes So blown away still by the I scenery. I always dreamt of leaving this place. Becoming more than a peasant. You know the trouble with an adventurous life? It can end before it gets started. There's a trailer we I saw last time, but there's something about having the actors for Capon and Henry in the beginning. Congratulations tonight! You oh. finally become a man. So sad. Wake, Wake up. up! Pull yourself together, Henry. The music is great. Nobody will hand anything on a platter. Henry turns into a proper badass too. To men like you and me. You still have a long way to go till your work is done. Stop having goosebumps oh, all up and down God. my arms. Be kind and protect us so we don't blow our arses off. Amen. That Father Godwin that I didn't notice last time. Oh no, I'm gonna get emotional again. Hello and welcome. My name's Tom McKay, and together with Luke Dale, we're here to present the first in depth look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 an action RPG set in a realistic world of the late Middle Ages. We're in Kuttenberg, a gorgeous city at the heart of Europe, but also at the heart of KCD2. So let's take you into the world of the game with the help of Warhorse, the creators of this medieval saga. It's almost exactly 10 years since I was doing a video like this, uh, introducing our new game. It's almost exactly six years since this game called Kingdom Come Deliverance was finally released. So now it's perfect opportunity to show you what we have been working on those six years, which is Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. 
And where else to do it than in this magnificent cathedral in the royal city of Gutenberg, where the majority of this game takes place. Back then, 10 years ago, at the beginning, it was only 11 of us in a small office. Now it's 250 people My working God. very hard for years they to bring started you the with ultimate medieval people? RPG adventure. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 follows the adventures of Henry, a young lad who barely survives the invasion of a raiding force on his village. Henry embarks on a quest of revenge against those who butchered his family and burned his home to the ground. As a trusted squire and friend to young Sir Hans, our hero Henry is sent on a simple mission, but things turn ugly very soon. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is a continuation of Henry's previous adventures, but the story's written in such a way that it's perfect for newcomers to Henry's journey. Oh, Henry is a character that I think everybody can identify with because he starts off as a kind of nobody and goes through life with all these immense challenges. And I, th I feel like everybody can relate to that. Yeah, that's what makes it so Hans such a lovable game. All the kind of fun times and all the kind of ebullience and joy <laughs> that Henry has in himself, but it takes a bit of accessing, and I think Hen Hans really helps him to do that. Whew. We were right about <laughs> our stench. <laughs> Let's hope this water isn't too cold. You wouldn't want your pride and joy shrinking. <laughs> well, I'm more worried about it being too deep. Can you swim? What we are making now is what it was supposed to be in the beginning, but we were not able to do it because we didn't have enough resources and experience and all, all that stuff. We've proven that the concept works, and now it's we can take gorgeous. it to another level, which we always wanted. The game is much bigger in scope. Original game, we had, I don't know, three hours of cutscenes. Now we have more than five regarding That's the size amazing. of the world. It's two times bigger than it was two times bigger the story is longer massive. and much more epic so previously it was about an issues of small nobility with bandits in their villages now it's uh, about problems of kings this is a behemoth of a game in comparison to the first in my opinion i think it's i think it's got so much more energy and pace and adventure and action and fun and and trial and tribulation and just everything that you could want from setting up the characters so beautifully in the first game and then throwing them out there and going right let's see what you're made of this is going to be so much fun becoming a true knight Henry is a young guy so he's not really like so deeply entrenched in his already, you know, set character traits. So you can build your Henry in a different ways. And that all means that it's actually on you who you want to be. You can save the world, or you can help to punish it for its sins. Whoa, there's choice like that. The combat is also historically accurate, but we don't want to do that for the historical reasons of something. Oh. We want to do that for the immersion. It looks and we want you so to violent. feel the sword in your hand. We want you to feel threatened by the enemies on the battlefield. We want you to fight for your life. As far as uh, missile weapons go, we added new type of weapon. We added crossbows. Also, some I want a early firearms. And that, that hand cannon. Kingdom that Come looks fun feels and dangerous. like the good old school RPGs. It will always surprise you what you can and cannot do. You know, you can be better in combat. You can be a sweet talking guy who talks his way out of problems. You can be a charming knight. You can be a thief, you know, or a scoundrel. Or talk your way into problems. <laughs> Anything you do Does anyone want will to do be that? recorded. People will remember oh. it. If they saw you do that, our crime system will react to that. For example, when you are, I don't know, drunk and naked, people comment on that on the street. And now you can also reply. You can tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Or you can tell them, uh, piss off, man. If you do a lot of That's criminal cool. stuff around the They're village, reactive. people will start to be suspicious. They will greet you differently. So try to make these little things collapse into like greater mosaic where your actions are really reflected. It will always surprise you what can be done in Kingdom Come. The book is easier to read. 
We are moving to different places, so one map is taking place on the oh, actual beautiful. place that's called Bohemian Paradise. And it's really beautiful nature with this is uh, in -game. quite unusual rocky formations all around. And then we are moving to totally different, rather urban countryside surrounding huge silver mining, very rich city. So there's this the big concept art city. is really pretty too. The Gutenberg is a huge step forward for us and it was, I would say, biggest challenge in the game. Because uh, from those small outskirts and uh, small cities, you are really getting in the one of the richest cities in the medieval Europe. And it's really big. It's even too big, in my opinion. Too big? <laughs> we are trying to go <laughs> He's like, beyond We the went too hard usual, on this. Uh, muddy, dirty, medieval world, dark ages where everyone is dying uh, from famine or on war. It was really like colorful. Like, uh, it wasn't dark at all. Well, we have really beautiful environments. Like, players should go and explore all those like little woods and beautiful rocks and castles. The thing that I love about the game most is just wandering around because the nature is really beautiful. It's, it's really serene, peaceful, and it's full of secrets. How is this a game? It looks incredible. What the hell? A killer score, the yeah. Ba it's going to be banger. Big part of the game. Jan Valta is the composer as with the first game because I think he's also his genius. Man, sorry, I just was like, playing with the cat, her petting the cat. Well, listen to this music is... It's great. I really do feel like um, music is one of those things that can make or break immersion so easily. In this game, you can experience something you cannot experience yeah. anywhere else. I think players will be really impressed by that. <laughs> yeah. My message to the fans would be you are in for a ride. Thank you for all your support. Please follow us on our journey to create something unique. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 will be released by the end of this year. See you in KCD2. Oh, I love that. This next one is the making of. So I guess it's like um, they started to release behind the scenes kind of trailers. And I'm really excited because this shows you, well, this shows me that developers are really, really invested in having the community be part of the whole process. And I love stuff like this. I love stuff like this when filmmakers, game developers, they give you like an inside look to how things are going. I used to watch this when I was little. I used to watch like the making of Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. Like I love, I genuinely love these types of things. So, hi, my name is Petr Pekas and I'm cinematic director at Warhorse Studios. And I prepared for you a small sneak peek behind the scenes of how cinematics for KCD2 were made.
story of KCD2 is epic and complex, but in the same Wild. time realistic and down to earth. So basically, our well, there was a lot was going on. Cutscenes that will be telling this story in the it. same manner. You can see, oh, that's crazy! It's showing the mocap. The action scenes were choreographed with stuntmen that have deep knowledge about medieval warfare. Not only fencing and shooting firearms, but also that looks medieval fun. I would organized. genuinely love to do that. That looks hella fun. Every bit of the battlefield was recorded and directed separately. Are they making KCD three? I I know how to wield a sword. The scene to create this illusion of grand crowded assault. I want to do that. That looks so fun. We really wanted the scenes to feel authentic. <laughs> Look at them. They're just playing. Chaotic, I would. Also if this is your job, organized. you are freaking so lucky. So you can witness the most accurate depiction of medieval battlefield as we could do. What is it? One of the stunt people. One of our main focuses in cinematics is uh, the atmosphere, because KCD2 is darker and more mature and complex, so we really stepped up with cinematic lighting, the weather effects and composition, but also with our sound effects and atmospheres. We really want you as a player to feel present in this realistic medieval environment. Do they need someone with like... Philippine martial arts. <laughs> Performance capture was a great addition to our new project. We built our own custom-made head-mounted camera rigs that helped us to capture performances so cool. of guys like Tom McKay and Luke Dale and other incredibly talented actors. So Damn. we tried really hard no wonder to the capture facial expressions the essence are so of their talent good. and recreate it as precise as possible. And of course, we are capturing lots of horses. Uh, well, horse idols and <laughs> chairs. Uh, the thing with horses. horses is that they don't fit to elevator much and then have tendency to. <laughs> it just looks funny when it's lot. all basic. So, yeah. That's cool. At this point, 12 professional filmmakers and three sound designers are working full time just on cinematics to deliver what I believe That's will be so cool. one of the most cinematic experience you ever witness in an uh, open world game. I will just say I hope you will enjoy it. Keep your eye on updates and more videos like this one. Oh, and that's, that's so cheers. fun. They have such oh, a man. fun job, those, those stuntmen, these ones. I could watch these behind the scenes videos all day. They're such a joy to watch. They This team honestly looks like it's having the best time doing this. And it's like, I, I, I love it so much. So I'm going to watch another one, the game reveal. So basically it's making of this whole that first part where I think Hans was singing and they were coming and Henry was coming in on a horse. So I love oh man, this looks so fun. <laughs> Fun. Hi and like welcome. This. My name is Toby, and with me on the mic is my colleague Vitek. And together we are going to take you to Kutenberg, where we spent three very cold nights shooting the game reveal of KCD2. But now we can finally show you Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. <laughs> ben, if I if if I had been a KCD fan well, well before the this, I would have cried at watching the end that. Of this January. So we had to cuddle a lot to keep us warm. This one makes all of your hat <laughs> no. That's why we're here. Did he, he made, made it all up. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like, I'm just a hacker, aren't I? <laughs> That's all I am. <laughs> all the familiar faces from KCD arrived to Kuttenberg. So it was very hard to keep the whole thing a secret, as nobody knew about the KCD2 existence at this time. And we could shoot only in the cold cover of darkness from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. They really kept it secret. We closed most of the city center and all the roads leading to the set were guarded by security guys, showing away all the good but curious people of Gutenberg with a historical documentary being shot there. And he's someone that the audience and the, and the players uh, can yeah, audience. No, it's not. No, no it's great. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's great. Right. He does jab him a little bit with it, of course. But he puts, they put it aside and they do develop this rather quite lovely relationship where if they weren't together and if they weren't going through the stuff. Doctor, eh? Right? Then you just go at the beginning. There was, there were only ten of us. Uh, 
Uh, now it's 250 people working hard to bring you the ultimate medieval RPG adventure. God. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Sorry, my Millie, my kitten, she really loves licking my hands. And I, I don't like it because her tongue is so rough, but she loves it. And so I feel bad. We spared no expense on the game reveal. And because we are megalomanics, we drove 37 musicians, 14 choir singers, to bring the final musical sequence to life. That's cool. They really poured their heart into this, the reveal. Music creates big part of KCD2 magic. And we knew we have something very powerful in our sleeves with this emotional track. Fueled by projections from KCD2, we felt so confident about the final scene, we reserved pretty much one whole shoot night for it. And there's nothing more beautiful than hearing St. Barbara theme with the glorious acoustics of St. Barbara Church, praying that nobody from Gutenberg dog walkers will hear it from the outside, <laughs> while having your wonderful KCD2 yeah, crew shivering puppets. with cold by your side. That's cool. I can't believe they kept it secret. I have goosebumps again. <laughs> That's, that must have been such an experience, being in that room, hearing this music swell, being transported back in time. I wouldn't be able to be a musician like this. I would cry every time I had to play a piece. <laughs> cold or no cold, we wanted to create a game reveal concept that will make the gamers emotionally attached to KCD2 from the very first moment presenting our new game. And while keeping the existence of KCD2 a secret and risking major leaks with an ambitious shoot like this cost us a lot of nerves, it was really worth it at the end of the day. All of us at Warhol Studios, including Tom and Luke, watched your wonderful reactions, read your comments, and felt very touched by your response uh, to the announcement of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Okay. But this is like, like um, a bit slower, the better. So I'll try. I'll try both. So a friend who never leave you stuck. It's amazing. He Thanks has a great watching, singing guys. voice. We'll see you in KCD2. Stay medieval, guys. And two, one, action. Henry, our hero, Henry. So this is a Sin Saints and Sinners trailer. I have no idea what, what it is. Um, I just thought, I, I don't know why I thought it was a DLC for Kingdom Come Deliverance 1, but it seems it's not. So let's take a look. The best laid plans of men don't always come to fruition. Man proposes, but God disposes. And then boots you right in the balls. <laughs> These two young fellas, oh. I need to find them. One's a smart ass smith, and the other's a blue blooded fledgling. Oh, so Henry You're actually does become a blacksmith bra. again? How dare you speak? <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, there are many sinners in this world. <laughs> but in the end, we all face your judgment for what we oh. should have done, but lacked the courage to do. The last time I ran away, I lost everything. I'm never going to run from that fucker again. Kiss! <laughs> God, is this retribution for my sins? To the task! Whoa! Come on! 
This does look way more epic. These, these fight scenes are incredible. To the fucking task. Okay, so I guess this one is just the trailer for the gameplay showcase that I watched. I'm just really happy to have finally picked up the game and given KCD a chance. And I'm really excited. I got a little bit emotional a few times watching this. Even just being a new fan of the, the game, seeing the developers and how much they poured into this and the community. Sorry, my room is overexposed. It suddenly got really bright and sunny and I don't feel like fixing it. It's nice to see that Hans and Henry have developed like such a good friendship and it continues on into this next game. I can't wait. I'm so excited for the next one. I haven't even finished the first one, but I'm gonna go finish it right now. Like in the next couple of months.